In part one of our video on a new addition to the redesigned Standard Obstacle Course or SOC, the team of soldiers blazed through the first six obstacles. They've got six more ahead, so keep your eyes on the screen. Come on guys, good job. Focus, keep focus, that's it. So this is the ditch. We use these obstacles to train soldiers on their landing, balancing and jumping techniques. These techniques are very commonly used for soldiers during any form of operation. Used to simulate areas of restricted height, soldiers have to duck through these corridors to evade enemy crosshairs. After crossing the balancing bridge, which is used to train soldiers to cross obstacles like this, the team will have to face three final obstacles, with the end of the course seeming so near, yet so far. Down to the final three obstacles, soldiers will now have to vault through the window obstacle, the last of the seven additions to the SOC. While it looks relatively simple compared to the other obstacles, vaulting is a much needed skill often used for tactical entry in urban warfare. And here's a fun fact. The apex ladder is considered one of the most intimidating on the SOC because soldiers have to face their fear of heights while carrying huge loads. But it's all for the good of soldiers because it trains them to face obstacles like this. And finally, to build up confidence in jumping and landing from height, this is the terrace obstacle. This obstacle prepares soldiers for terrain like such and trains them to move down ledge by ledge. Few more meters, come on! Count those at the back, catch up, catch up, that's it! Finishing, finishing! Good job, good job! Okay, well done guys. Well done, well done. Aside from the redesigned SOC, which will be in place in all camps by June 2011, a new vocational obstacle course or VOC customized to operational units is also being introduced. Soldiers and operational units will embark on a new team-based VOC with success dependent on the completion of the course as a team. The VOC is also customized to each vocation's combat skills and load. So for example, a team from the infantry formation will go through the SOC equipped with two methodors like this one here. And a team from the armor formation will be equipped with a general purpose machine gun. It's definitely more challenging and demanding, but will better train each vocation. And to round things up, here's a quick recap of the redesigned SOC. Come on!